Hello! In this video we're going to take a tour of the tabs that you find under the project node. So this is our project Geographical Thesaurus TM. And the first tab we've got open here is the metadata and statistics and this just gives you the basic information about your project. So it tells you the title, subject, description, the author. Uh, you could click on the edit button and change any of that. Your default languages, uh, English and other languages you might have, German. It tells you the number of concept schemes you've got, which are these places and regions, concepts, etc. Another interesting thing to note down here is the user groups. This gets uh, set up when you create your project and if you are planning to link this project to other projects that you might have, so other thesauri, it needs to be public. And if you did not make that public when you first created it, you can do that easily by clicking the little edit icon. And then you can see here you can add or remove um, what other, whatever user groups you want and that are available. So we'll put it back how it was. And under this tab, ADMS, the Asset Description Metadata Schema, we've got the information, uh, the metadata information that you would need for publishing your thesaurus in a linked data environment. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Concept tab. So the Concept tab is just a way to um, search your thesaurus to see if you've got a concept. So if you're not sure if something's in there, you can look there. So let's try Charlottenburg, which I like saying. So search. And yes, we do. So we've got Charlottenburg under the broader concept districts, and we've got Charlottenburg Palace under the broader concept Berlin sites, and those you would find over here under places. You can also do this exact same type of search up here under the thesaurus search. So that's the same thing. Uh, you can also search uh, or browse alphabetically. So under the concept index, that's what you find. You just have an alphabetical list of the concepts or terms that you've got in your thesaurus. So you can see here we've got Charlottenburg Palace and Charlottenburg under districts. So let's go ahead and take a look at the documents tab. Under the documents tab you can do a full text search so you could just search for any documents that you've uploaded in the system that contain a word. So let's go ahead and look at districts. Search for that and you can see that we've got a total of three documents that contain the word districts. And you've got them there. And again, this uh, search you could also do up here. You can This is set as the source search for by default, but you can switch to document search. And you could type districts in here and you would get the same results as you get down here. Okay, now we're looking at tag events and tag events are just a list of the documents that you have uploaded to the system and and tagged. So we've got six documents that we've uploaded and tagged with various concepts from Arthosaurus. And now we're under the tag cloud and the tag cloud just shows you the concepts you've got in the source and how frequently they appear in your documents in relation to each other. And then finally we've got your index settings which is just where you can set your parameters for indexing. Okay, now we'll take a look at the triples tab, which just shows you what sort of triples you've got for RDF and for publishing in a linked data environment. We'll take a look at the log. The log is just a list of all changes that have been made to the thesaurus. Uh, you can select to see them by specific authors and you can also choose dates. So. Uh, we don't have any showing because it's just showing today's date, but we could do, say, from the 1st of January through now, and it would show the changes. So you can see a list of all the changes that have been made to the thesaurus here. And now we're under the project linking tab, and under this tab you see um, other the thesaurus projects that you've linked to. And so this project is linked to the plant and animal thesaurus. And then we do have one link. So I think we've got um, bears from the plant and animal thesaurus linked to as a related uh, concept to Berlin Zoo. And then finally, the last tab that we've got is auto populate. And here you're just seeing a list of um, sources that have been used for auto populating so far. And auto 
auto populating um, it, I show you how to do it in a different video and it's a way of adding um, information to your concept so you can select a concept and get um, alternative labels maybe scope notes and other information like that so you don't actually do the auto population from here but with a with a specific concept and again there's a, there's another video that shows you how to do that and so that's it for the tabs under the project node yeah.